Hello everyone, you're in Endurance Laser Lab. Many people ask me if our lasers are good for seals and stamps engraving. Uh, I'm telling they're not good, they are perfect. And I'm going to prove it live. So, uh, we already made focusing. We use a gray rubber. And while um, the laser is working, I'll tell you about some nuances. So, we are starting engraving process so you can actually find any rubber any color it could be gray it could be black or it could be uh, red gray or black yeah I've seen only two, two types so uh, first of all you need to take care of laser focusing that's very important and uh, also invert the image so it means that uh, when you see the result something like that it's uh, it's in reverse so you need to take care of that also you would need our gloves uh, silicone gloves that we sent to all our customers uh, you will need some soft uh, fabric and ink so meanwhile I'll do some uh, preparation over here We add some ink. Okay. The rub is actually burning a little bit and makes some unpleasant smell. It's not uh, critical, but I would suggest you to do outside uh, or use film extractor because still it's not healthy. And uh, another thing that you need to take care of that, take care of that uh, the image is uh, inversed and also that the image is embossed. So it means that you need to remove all the rest of material and just to leave what uh, engraving should look like. I'll, I'll, sh I'll show you at the end. So the parameters we're using is uh, speed of uh, is 1500, 75% power and only one repeat. We're using our 10 uh, Pro uh, laser uh, installed on our frame and we use uh, Lightburn software. I really like Lightburn, it's probably one of the most advanced tools on the market, very convenient and very very compatible. It has some uh, minor things that I would like personally to be improved but uh, in general I would say that it's one of the best software on the market so I think that we're almost almost done don't forget to wear goggles all the time you operate the laser safety comes first almost it should be ready okay so let's see what we got so we see that it's over here. So I'm going to, to cut this piece. Okay, so you can actually play around with different parameters. Uh, you're welcome to share better parameters for stamp and seal engraving. I'm sure that our community will, will appreciate it. Okay, I probably I need to cut it better. Maybe I just needed to do a laser cut, with it, however, but uh, It'll take like more time and definitely cutting such thick rubber would require film extractor. Okay. It looks looks good and let's uh, let's try. What we got? We'll take. 
right piece of paper. I've already added some ink. So we take it. Okay, wow, looks amazing. I really like it, guys. So it's stamp is ready, and you can probably use it for a few times. But sure, that's great. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you think. If you have any more questions, if you have better parameters or ideas how to make just a perfect. Uh, seal and stamp but uh, like I said at the beginning that 10 watt blue uh, laser by endurance is a good tool for making your own seal and stamp I'll make a detailed video and we'll uh, how to make you know a, a finished version of a stamp and uh, maybe I'll, sh I'll upload it on Instructables or somewhere so hope that you like this video please share it with your friends and have wonderful seal and stamp laser engraving with endurance. Bye-bye.